Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to do an eye swatch video today. I did promise you that I would using the ZC and British Museum Alice in Wonderland palettes. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. We're gonna get started in just a second. Before we do, if you're new here, Hi, I'm Annie. I am a 40-something lover of color who believes that you can have fun with color at any age. If that sounds fun or interesting, if you'd like to see a little more color on your timeline, if you love indie makeup and color as much as I do, as much as I know my subscribers here do, I would love it if you would stick around and join us. That being said, I am not a trained makeup artist. I am just a girl doing her makeup. I actually work in education, so this is just how I like to do my makeup, and sometimes it's nice to see how a non-trained person gets on with with shadows and sees, see how we can get things to work. So let's move on, shall we? Let's talk a little bit first about these palettes. So again, like I said, these are the British Museum and ZC Alice in Wonderland palettes. The blue one is the We're All Mad Here palette. The red one is the Off With Their Heads palette. I bought these palettes purely for the packaging because it is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. They are absolutely stunning and they have this really cool and amazing fun snow globe effect. I don't know if you can see what's happening there. I know this one is moving. I think I need to move this one like this. And they are just so, so pretty that I couldn't help myself. And so I bought them and, and here I am. So these palettes are no longer available on ZC's standalone site. So I'm not going to give you a price for them today, but you can still purchase them on ZC's AliExpress shop. If you decide to purchase them from there, please be sure that you are purchasing them from their official shop because there have been reports on their Facebook page of people getting counterfeit or damaged products when purchasing from not their official shop. So please keep that in mind. I will go ahead and link their official shop down below. Um, it is not an affiliate link. It is just a link directly to their shop so that you are making sure that you're buying the actual products and not um, a counterfeit uh, so you you don't get taken advantage of, basically. I did reach out to ZC and I finally did hear back from them. They are a um, Chinese brand, so I think sometimes things get a little lost in translation between English and, um, you know, the two languages. So let me just read directly from the email of what they said. I think this means that they're going to be bringing them back to their official site, but it may take some time. So it says, hello. I'm very sorry because the production process of Alice eyeshadow palette is more complicated. The factory production time is relatively long, but after the product arrives, we will definitely relist it. Thanks, best regards, and the person's name. So it does indeed sound like they will be bringing this back to their site eventually if you are uncomfortable purchasing from AliExpress. So I think that's all I have to say about the palettes at the moment. Let's talk a little bit about how I did my eye swatches. I filmed the eye swatch video, um, I wanna say last weekend, and I was sitting down to edit and realized I forgot to film an intro or anything else about them. I just filmed the swatches. So here I am. I did film this look, by the way. This is using the Off With Her Head palette. This one will be coming soon. So. Uh, when I did the eye swatches, I used two brushes to do them. For the matte shadows, I just used my Luxie 239 Precision Shader. It is just a shading brush that is somewhat fluffy. I did not blend the shadows out at all in my eye swatches. I just packed them on my lid. If you'd like to see how they perform, I do have now at this point, we'll have three videos up using these all coming soon. I have my first impression and then the uh, video using my... Um, we're All Mad palette here should be up next after this video, and then you'll be able to see how the, this one works as well. So if you're interested in seeing how they blend. Anyhow, for the shimmers, I used the Morphe M124. I did not use any glitter primer for the shimmers, but I did use just a straight primer. I used my MAC Paint Pot, which is what I always use when I do my shadows. So I did put these on a primed lid. I will say that I thought my eyeballs were going to just fall right out of my head after filming that video. I will probably never do an eye swatch video again. It was so painful. So, enjoy. We're gonna go ahead and dive right in and then after you see the eye swatches, I will go ahead and give you kind of my thoughts on the shadows.
Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the shadows. Let's start with the um, We're All Mad Here palette. So I'm just going to say it, and I've said it in every single video that I've used these palettes in. These color stories are really, really weird. They're really, 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 really weird. You will have noticed I did not swatch the glitters because I was not even about trying to get the glitter off of my eyes in between these. It hurt bad enough just doing the regular shadows. Um, these shimmer formulas are very interesting. They're quite, quite chunky. At least this one here is very chunky. These ones over here in the split pan, I think I'm going to hold it this way. This is difficult. These split pan shimmers are a little bit different. They're not quite as chunky, but they are very, very glitter, glittery. You will probably notice it looked like I had straight highlight on my face when I used them and tried to take them off. I definitely recommend using a glitter primer with these shadows um, because otherwise you're going to wind up with a big giant mess. Having used these multiple these palettes multiple times now, I can tell you I have not had any problem with creasing, fading, anything like that. The um, glitters, even though I did not swatch them today, they do stay on the eye. I haven't had any issue with them falling out and into my eye, which is great because they are very chunky and that would probably hurt and really, really damage your eye if that happened. So if you're uncomfortable wearing glitter on your eye, just don't do it. Um, Anyhow, the matte formulas in these palettes are incredibly good. I am really, really, really happy with the way the mattes perform. Um, they blended out so, so beautifully, so beautifully. I actually like the matte formula. It's easier to work with than the shimmer formula. The shimmer formula is definitely not a beginner friendly formula at all. This blue shade, it looks like it would be a shimmer in the pan, but it performs more like a satin shadow. I did treat it like a shimmer in this video because I wanted to see what would happen if I used it with a flat shader brush, but I have used it on its own as well. And it's definitely more of a satin, um, leaning more towards the matte side. So there's that as well. So this really only has, well, I guess it still has four shimmers in it because it has this split, uh, this checkerboard pan here. It's got this gold and these two here as well. So yeah, I really do like this formula of the mattes. The shimmers is a little strange. As far as the red palette goes, the We're All Mad Here palette, I have kind of the same thoughts. This shimmer is gorgeous, this orange one here. It is so, so beautiful. I love the way it looks on the eye. It's one of my favorites. This red one is delightful as well. Definitely more of that metallic that I think that the other blue was supposed to be, but did not achieve. This is really pretty. It has kind of a copper shift to it. It's really, really nice. I really like that. This checkerboard pan here is much more difficult to pick up than the blue one. I did have a bit of trouble with it. You can see I'm so sad it's not beautiful anymore. I, I'm kind of reserving this space so when I look in here I can still see the pretty um, but it gets very messy and I did have a bit of trouble picking it up on my brush um, so there's that as well this pink shade is one of those putty formulas so if you you can squish it and move it around it's very weird um, I would say it's definitely not opaque enough to be used on its own um, unless you really like, I guess you could really, really pack it on. I'm just going to kind of swatch it here too. So you can kind of see it's definitely meant more as a topper shade or an inner corner highlight shade. I think this would also, if I could get it to pick up on a brush, I think it would make a beautiful face highlight as well. But again, trying to get it to pick up on the brush is difficult. This black shade here, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping that some of those purple glitters would actually show up and that there would be a bit of shimmer to it, but there's not, there's just not. Um, and again, the mattes are delightful. Absolutely love the mattes. I am actually, I'm really happy I picked these up. Again, the color story. I don't know what you all think in ZC because the color story is weird. Like it's really, really weird. I mean, I can see this one a little bit more than the blue one. I'm really not sure why they have the, the yellows and the oranges in here. I would have been very much, much, very much, much more muchier as, um, 
the Mad Hatter would say, much I would be much happier were this glitter to be like a pink or a red or even like a white iridescent. I think that that would have been better. I'm not quite sure why it's orange. It's a little weird. And again, I'm not sure why there is an orange or a yellow in this palette. I would have stuck more to, you know, Queen of Hearts shades, you know, pinks, reds, blacks. Uh, maybe even thrown in some purples in there I think would have worked really well. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. As far as this color story, again, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. If we're all mad here and I'm thinking Alice, I'm thinking of um, the Cheshire Cat. And so definitely I feel like, you know, again, like purples, definitely the blues, the whites, but then I think adding some purples into this palette would have been fantastic. This is very strange. It looks very green on camera, um, but it does have like a bluish kind of purplish shift, but I would have preferred had that one been, again, either just like straight blue or with like a, you know, that purpley kind of pinky shade that I think of when I think of the Cheshire Cat. And yeah, I'm not sure why. I, I, I don't, I don't understand these. I, 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 I don't understand them. Um, but again, the matte formula is outstanding. So I think that is everything that I have to say about these palettes. Like I said, I do really like them. I'm really glad I picked them up, but these are definitely not going to be standalone palettes for me. I will pull shades out of here for when I'm doing other looks and use them in conjunction with other things. And really, I mean, 100% honest, I bought them because they're pretty. I did. I did. I'm a sucker for good packaging. What can I say? All right, so I think that's everything. I am going to go ahead and go. I have yet to eat breakfast. It is Saturday morning. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, and I got up and I filmed two videos. So yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. And while you're there, scooch on over, hit subscribe if you're not already, and ring that bell. If you ring that bell, you should be notified all of all of my uploads. And of course you can find me on Instagram at seemybliss underscore beauty. And if you leave your house today, please don't forget to wear your mask, wash your hands, be kind to your friends, be kind to your family, be kind to your neighbors, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.